Hey, what's up, guys? Surreal Canine here. We're playing more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explore the sky. And whoops, I just uh, clicked the bottom screen to focus on it, and away we go. <laughs> in the last episode, we did an escort mission in, um... Somebody is missing. Oh, it's Dale, Ju Dale Jr. is missing. <coughs> huh. Anyway, we did a mission in Ant Plains, and Riker the Growlithe joined our party. We get signal! Main screen turn on! How are you, gentlemen? We are pleased to deliver this report. All your Grovile are belong to us. He has no chance to survive, make his time. Ha ha ha. Oh, okay. Yep, we are getting the plot. Sorry, Izukaze Phoenix, but uh, your other mission is going to have to wait. This is a plot tunnel. Oh, wow, it really is a tunnel. <laughs> he opened a dimensional hole. Don't you mean a time warp? I don't know. These dang ghost types and their time magic. Alright, everyone is already here. So yeah, uh, right about this time in fanfic land, uh, Ben and Daniel would both be captured, and, uh, yeah, Malleus would uh, bring them both back to her own, back to their, his own time. <clears throat> Stay clear. The instant you touch it, you will be sent to the future. <laughs> Haven't you read Bob and George, Buck? You do never, you never talk to, you never talk to portally things. Yes, that that is exactly what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> I'm just being a doofus. Um, yes, the plan had to have been successful if. Ben got captured. I mean, I mean, you know, <sighs> Mamma Mia. Oh, hey, here comes the man of the hour, or perhaps the man of the 21st century. I don't know. And Sable Eyes. We haven't seen those guys yet. He only looks like a bad guy because he's tied up. Today, I would like to share excellent news with you. Finally, Benjamin Nikolai has been captured! This was all made possible by your selfless support and cooperation. I can't thank you enough. As you can see, Benjamin is a vicious and wicked Pokemon. His capture should result in lasting peace for your world. Mm, mm, mm. Looks like they have him muzzled. You can't say a word that way. But I must also deliver a sad piece of news. It's time for me to return to the future. Everyone, I must now bid you farewell. Oh, so that was true? Hey, hey. I'm feeling the blues. Your, uh, your bug shot is feeling the blues too. There's so much I wanted to learn from you, you, you. Yuxi, Vesprit, Azoff, I entrust you with the rest. Yep, we know. We got the time gears back, and we will make sure to return to their rightful places. Task is yours. Thank you very much for everything. You have literally saved us all. Oh no, no. You've been most kind and helpful. I hope you'll continue to work to preserve the peace. 
Yes, you can depend on that. Now, I'm afraid the time has come. Everyone, though it pains me, I hate sad goodbyes. I hope we see you again. <laughs> well, you <yes>, sir. <laughs> Oh, yes. Before I go, I must see two Pokemon. Abram and Daniel. That's us. Let's go up there. So this is really goodbye. Malleus, sir, for everything you've done, thank you sincerely. Well, this is goodbye. Or is it? It's too soon for farewells. Wah! You two are coming with me! My gosh! Abram, Daniel! What was... What just happened? What happened is... Uh, Abram realizing something... Something was off. I mean, he's... He still wants to believe in Daniel. Uh, seeing how poorly Malleus is treating him, that's... I don't know, but yeah, he... Uh, he chases at... He's gonna chase after Daniel and end up in the future that way. Now that looks cool. Eh, we don't really need to save. Chapter 14, Into the Future. Ugh, where is this? Is Drags losing consciousness again? Well, this definitely looks like the uh, the realm of darkness. It, seriously, like if you've played Kingdom Hearts uh, zero point two, this uh, this looks just like that. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Master Dialga. I encountered more difficulty than anticipated. I finally succeeded. In the capture, yes. I fully understand what must be done. Those who seek to alter the course of history must be removed from history. I will see to the elimination immediately. I understand. As you wish. I take my leave. Hey, Daniel. Wake up, Daniel. So yeah, uh, now we've got Dialga involved. Where? You're awake! This place, I think it's a jail. Jail? I just woke up a while ago, so I'm not sure what's going on. I tried the doors, but they're locked. There seems to be no other way out. I think we've been locked up. Ugh. What's going on? We're locked up? I don't know what's going on either, but I may as well investigate. Time to eat some moss! Eh, I don't see any moss. The doors failed to open. It's no good. Like Abram said, these doors won't open. Sure looks like we got locked up. How did we end up this way? I think what happened was Malleus grabbed us, then he dragged us into a dimensional hole. Uh, what? Wait, so is this maybe... Is this the future? That's... I can't believe this! I mean, this is the future? Why are we even here? This whole room is constructed in a way unlike anything I've ever seen. 
And now that I've had time to digest this, maybe this actually is the future. I don't know, it just looks like some random cave to me. Now what should we do? So, if this place is the future, how are we supposed to get back to our world? They're awake. How convenient. Alright, we'll do this quick. Do this quick? Do, do what? What? Ah, they blindfolded me! I can't see a thing! Come with us. Ow! Don't shove me! This blindfold makes it impossible to tell where I'm going. Where are they taking us? <clears throat> We're here. Where is this? They got me trussed up. I can't trust up. What? That? I've never heard that phrase before. We're gonna get executed! It's pretty great. You're clueless about what's gonna happen. Guess you can afford to be nonchalant about it. Huh? The voice came from over there. Benjamin? You two. Do you have any inkling about where you are? No? This is a stockade. They're, pre they're preparing to get rid of us for good. What? Uh, get rid of us? Wait a second. It's easy to understand why they want to get rid of you, Benjamin. But why us? We haven't done anything wrong. Well, you did kind of, uh, kind of chase, uh... It did kind of chase Malleus and almost throw off his evil plan. I couldn't care less. You must have done something I can't tolerate. What? We haven't done anything bad! Don't think we're like you! I don't care. You're wasting time losing your cool. Meanwhile, look. Here they come. Shiny eyes. Who are they? They're the jailers who do all the dirty work around here. They also happen to be Malleus's underlings. What? The great Malleus's? Hey, it's Malleus! Lord Malleus, the three have been tied to the stakes. Good. Malleus, sir, it's me, Abram! Yeah, very well, Sableye. Those three, we need to be rid of them. What? Pay them no heed. You may get ready. <laughs> Wait a moment! Malleus, sir! What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this to us? Because he's the bad guy! Don't waste your breath. Instead, shh, keep your voices down so they can't hear you. you keep your voice down? You too. If you want to get away, give me your full cooperation. What? I help you? There's no time to think, or would you prefer to stick around for them? Hey, you there. Tell me, what can you do right now? What? What can I do? You can't say that out of nowhere. Um. Well, let me think. We don't have access to our bag, and uh, a move might take too long. So uh, let's do something fast. That's it. That'll do. If it's just a regular attack, I can help too. Good. And we are ready to begin. Very well. But be vigilant to the end. Don't take your eyes off them. Especially that grove aisle. <laughs> Commence now. Who says that? They're coming. Listen carefully. Sableye used claws to strike. Yikes, that sounds scary. That might just open one avenue for escape. Sableye will unleash your fury swipes in a frenzy. That's our chance. If even one of their attacks hits the ropes binding us... Oh, right. The ropes might come loose. Exactly. And if that happens, lash out with an attack and then flee. But what if their fury swipes don't hit the ropes? And what, what if the Sableye don't use fury swipes at all? <laughs> that happens? Don't even think about it. What? Endure it. Wait for your chance. If they keep going, will they finish before our chance comes? 
Hey! There's a break in the rope. Now! Attack! Go! What is this? There. Yeah! We can't see! Compose yourselves. It's only a luminous orb. Do luminous orbs do that? Its effect wears off quickly. <sighs> Blast it. That Grovile. He fled using a flash from that luminous orb as cover. They won't get away with this. Come. <laughs> The flash ruse was a distraction. Blech, I got dirt in my mouth. We're we're safe. So Benjamin can use dig. He sure knows a lot of moves. We got out of that scrape, but we're not out of the woods yet. Let's get out of here fast. We don't need to save. That's crazy talk. Come on, this way. We need to keep running till we hit the exit. Come on, faster! Pick it up! This is the fastest I can go! Quit ordering me around! Anyway, Ben. What? Is this the future? That's right. You catch on fast. So it is after all. Are we going to be able to get back to our world? Who knows? We just need to get away for now. We get caught, returning home will be the least of your worries. Run faster! I can't! I'm exhausted! We're almost there. Look, there's the exit. We did it! We're outside. What? What is this? Darkness. This is... Our world? In the future? Those boulders are floating! It's really a strange place. It's horribly dark. Not even the wind blows. It's as if all move. It's as if everything stopped. Exactly. What? What? <laughs> I hear Sableye! We have to keep running. Listen, Benjamin, I'm exhausted. There's no time for rest. If they catch us, we're done. Tough it out and run. It's easy for you to say. I can't. I have to rest. All right. <sighs> this forms a natural alcove. This is Chalice from view. After a quick rest, we'll have to get moving again. Wait a minute. When we escaped the stockade, we cooperated with because we had no other choice. We didn't promise to go with you afterward. A bad Pokemon like you, you're not worth trusting. And give back Daniel. Ugh, so I'm the bad guy, and that Malleus is the good guy? Then how about explaining his actions earlier? It wasn't just me. They wanted you gone, too. But, but that doesn't mean I should put my faith in you. Earning your trust isn't an easy task, it seems. I thought having allies would help, but there's no point continuing together without trust. We'll go our separate ways. Go on, Daniel. I'm staying on the move. You should get moving as soon as possible. Good luck. Wait a second! You tell us to leave soon, but it's dark out now. It's hard to see where we're going. Instead of setting off again right away, shouldn't we wait for morning? Wouldn't it be better to leave when it gets light out? That isn't possible. I hate to say it, but morning never comes. What? This world, your future, is a world of perpetual darkness. The sun never rises, so morning never comes. The darkness persists forever. Why? Because we're in the realm of darkness. The planet is paralyzed? The planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis! That's right, I remember now. Malleus described the plant's paralysis before. It's nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. It's still a stupid term. We might as well be in the realm of darkness. Because that dang Dialga ate the world's core or something and the Heartless started showing up. I don't know. Time gears removed, the flow of time slows in. 
There's also no such thing as time in the realm of darkness. You gotta mess around with clocks if you want anything to happen. think anymore. Wasn't the plant's paralysis supposed to be caused by all those time gears going missing? That's why we all tried to stop him. We did everything we were supposed to, right? You see and the others said they were turning to recapture time gears to the right places. That should have prevented the plant's paralysis. Despite all our efforts, why is the planet still paralyzed in our future? I don't know who or what to believe anymore. The same lie! You can't stay here, Daniel. Let's get ready quickly so we can get moving. There's the music we were hearing last time. Alright, let's see here. Go away the silver gummy. That looks pretty good. Yep. Okay, don't even they don't even give us the chance for a side path. We are going to Chasm Cave. This is an eight floor dungeon with mostly steel and ghost type types. Here is a uh, Drifloon, a ghost flying type. It's a rather rude counterattack if they are hit by fire. At least I think it's if they're hit by fire. Confuse Ray. That's, uh, that's great. Don't really have any items we can use. Trying to get Abram in on the action here. Grumpig is a, a pure psychic type, I believe. Glittery box. It's good to see a treasure box that still exists in the future. Another recycle! What the heck? Unfortunately, uh, Fire Fang is, uh, oh, okay. It just, uh, he just explodes anytime he's knocked out, I guess. Oh, in that case, I can use Fire Fang all I want. <laughs> Take that. Oh, yeah, Grumpigs have thick fat, which, uh, Oh dear, I'm going to need to heal. Thick fat protects, protects uh, certain Pokemon from fire and ice moves. It's rather annoying when you're playing as a Charmander. Onyx! Uh, we've seen Onyx before. Rock and ground type. Sandstorm. Lovely. I feel it'll go away soon. One shot orb. Another vacuum cut. Can I teach vacuum cut to Abram and is it worth it? It's better than teaching him growl, I guess. Right, well, then again, is it? Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. Growl is... Growl is a little situational. Vacuum cut at least can be used to smash an entire room, you know? I think... I think I'll... Whoops. I think I'll go for it. Can always uh, take him to the move tutor if uh, we decide it's better that way. The used TM fell out of sight. It fell away into the darkness. Hidden power. <laughs> Just finding all kinds of TMs. By the way, uh, the dungeons for Chapter 14 cannot be returned to after you clear them. Which is just fine, because you can't recruit any Pokémon here either. It's probably best to just assume these guys are all actually heartless. <laughs> In which case, uh, I sure could use a Keyblade, you know? Skarmory, Steel Flying type. <laughs> nice one, Abram. Magnemite, uh, Electric Steel. All these, uh... Oh, hi, Abram. <laughs> he just kind of warped on out of sight. Here, take this, bird. Actually, that vacuum... Abram's vacuum cut also did 18 damage. Is it just a fixed damage... Uh, is it just a fixed damage move? That's a little sad. Oh, well. Drifblin, the evolved form of Drifloon. You killed that, uh, that treasure box! How dare you! I wanted to... I wanted to take that. Rude, Mr. Balloon Man! kinds of layouts again. Sure. You deal with this guy, Abram. I'll support you from the, uh... Oh, dang it. There's a ditto on this floor. Yeah, there we go. You can deal more damage to that guy than I can. Another... It's a Magneton. No, it's actually a Ditto. Ditto is a normal type that can transform into any other Pokemon on the floor. Gravel or rock. Hunger seed. Attract. Hmm. I'm not sure how useful that'll be, really. I mean, maybe we can distract an outlaw or a boss, but maybe not. Is that the exit over there? Let's go over there. <sighs> Do we put some distance between us and those Sableye? Let's rest a little now. Oh, there's water there. It's kind of frozen in time. What? This waterfall? This water isn't flowing at all. The gushing water is totally suspended in space. Is Benjamin right after all? Has time really stopped in the future? Why did Malleus bring us here? The great Malleus who was so kind to us. I don't know what to believe anymore. If only there was some way of finding the truth. Oh, I know! There is a way of getting at the truth, Daniel. Huh? Chekhov's lens! Use your Chekhov's lens, Daniel. Touch this frozen water. Who knows, you might see something. 
Oh, I get it. That's true. It's worth a try. Touching the frozen water. It might give us clues about what's happening to us. Can't dawdle. The sable eye will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. Well, Daniel? Can you see anything? No. I'm not sensing anything. No, huh? Eh, that's disappointing. It would have been reassuring if we could begin to understand what's happening. We didn't learn anything at all. We spent a lot of time here. If we don't hurry, those sable eye will get to us. Let's get ready and go, Daniel. Okay, there is a save point. Let's, uh... Let's see what we can uh, stash. This looks pretty good, actually. Time to save! Alright, see you guys next time for the next dungeon!